Chicago. We are just three days away now from a historic solar eclipse, the likes of which haven't been seen since 2017. NASA estimates that about 99% of Americans will see the sun covered up at least somewhat during the day. All right, joining us now is the director of the Frost Planetarium, Alec Warren. Alex, thanks for being here. We know it's a little early, so just plain and simple, what can we expect Monday? So Monday, we're going to experience a partial solar eclipse here in South Florida. About 46% of the sun's disk is going to be covered by the moon, uh, really from a period of about 1.45 in the afternoon until about 4.15 in the afternoon, with that peak eclipse time being just after 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But during that two, two and a half hour window, right. you're going to be able to see something going on with our moon and sun if you have a way to safely view the eclipse. And what is the effect you'll actually see, at least here in South Florida? Will it just be a little shady? How, how will it look? So we won't experience any environmental changes necessarily, but if you have a way to directly view the sun or indirectly view the sun, like a pair of solar eclipse glasses like I have here, or a solar filter, solar telescope, or even making what we call a pinhole camera, which oh, is basically right. taking a piece yeah. of paper, poking a hole in it and holding it up and looking at the shadow that it casts. If you have some way to view the sun, whether directly or indirectly, you're gonna be able to see the eclipse uh, play out. It'll look like a crescent sun during the course of the eclipse. We did the pinhole thing when I was in high school last year. Um, we did the pinhole thing. You could see it on the page. It was really mm -hmm. kind of cool. It was, and it, it was a great yeah. uh, learning method as yeah. well. Do you guys have anything at the planetarium that helps obviously view this a little bit better than maybe just the naked eye and we, a pair of glasses? We do. We actually have uh, several activities going on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday at the museum. Uh, we have a special planetarium show that's live presented uh, by our amazing educators in the planetarium and at the museum. We're going to have hands-on activities. People are going to be able to make their own pinhole cameras. And on Monday, uh, every guest who comes to the museum and purchases a ticket or gets admission is going to get a pair of Eclipse glasses as well. And, and they are the ISS mm -hmm. rated ones, the ISO, what is it, ISO? Uh, yes, ISO rated, ISO yeah. rated. so that's okay. an international safety standard. Just right. make sure that uh, these are safe to view the sun with. You won't be able to see anything else out of these glasses, <laughs> right. but the good thing about having a pair of Eclipse glasses is that you can look at the sun at any time. It doesn't have to be an Eclipse. These are good for everyday view if you just okay. want to look at the sun for any reason. And I was joking with you earlier, I was like, you don't want to drive with these on though because you really don't see much but tell us about the importance of having that protection when you're watching this right so the sun is obviously extremely bright we know that from our day-to-day -day existence and even one percent of the sun's light is 1,000 times brighter than it is at night or during totality. So even that small fraction of light at a 99% partial eclipse is still too dangerous for our eyes to look at directly. So that's why it's super important to make sure that you're using proper safety protection during a partial solar eclipse like the one that we're going to have and on quick Monday. Quick question. Can, can you view it like this? I mean, you can see a, um, an image, you know, reflection on a phone like that. Obviously, you can't use a mirror because you're still going to fry your eyes. But yeah. Can you use a phone, something like that? Uh, it is possible to use a phone or some kind of other camera device in order to view the eclipse. You're going to want to probably use a filter just to help sure. protect your camera uh, on, on your phone or anything like that. You don't want to, you know, let too much sunlight into it or anything like right. that. But there are there are definitely safe ways that you can use an electronic device right. to view it as well. Fantastic. Right. Good to well, know. We're excited. That's it. <laughs> Alec yes, Warren, director too. of the uh, Planetarium of the Frost Museum. Thanks for being here. We appreciate Thank it. You. Of course. Thank you for having us. Our Monday, you can join us for our streaming special as well. South Florida here. South Florida Solar Eclipse 2024. We're going to bring you watch parties that are going on all over South Florida. It starts at 2.45 p.m. streaming on CBS News Miami on Pluto TV as well as the CBS Miami app.